good morning students and in this chapter you are going to learn about the potential energy what are the learning objectives of this presentations first and foremost we are going to learn about the introduction about the potential energy and the types of potential energy that is the gravitational potential energy and the another one is the elastic potential energy and with some numerical problems we are going to understand this chapter thoroughly first let us see what is potential energy the energy possessed by an object due to its position is called potential energy look at the first diagram so in this gif pictures a man is trying to uh, he is aiming an object with the use of a bow so that he is trying to pull down the arrow backwards so here the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy so due to its position the arrow it has some energy and we call it that energy as potential energy so once he release the arrow the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy similarly you look at the second uh, animation here the ball is rolling down uh, before it rolling come down to the uh, bottom actually it is rise to a peak point at a higher it reaches a maximum point at the road so at the maximum point it possesses the highest potential energy so after reaching that highest uh, point the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy so after reaching the highest point uh, we are not uh, giving any force to the ball so the ball it comes down automatically to the bottom of the road so here the potential energy is converted into the kinetic energy so what are the uh, road map of energy so we know that the mechanical energy is divided into two types mainly kinetic energy and another one is potential energy you know what do you mean by kinetic energy yes of course the energy possessed by an object due to its motion so is called kinetic energy what is potential energy just now we have seen in the previous slide the energy possessed by an object due to its position is called potential energy so further this potential energy is divided into two types gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy that we are going to see in detail in the coming slides so let us see what is gravitational potential energy so the energy acquired by an object when it is raised at some height from the ground level is known as gravitational potential energy so here this energy is stored in the body is due to the work done on it when it is raised against the gravitational force look at this diagram here this is nothing but a wooden box so it has some weight in order to uh, displace this box to a certain height we need to have we need to do work so this work done is stored as potential energy at this height so here the energy stored in the body due to its uh, due to the work done on it when it is raised against the gravitational force is stored as the potential or uh, gravitational potential energy the ground is considered to be the position of zero height the gravitational potential energy of an object is directly proportional to the height above the ground that is above the zero height so if the height is doubled then the gravitational potential energy is also doubled the gravitational potential energy depends on the mass of the body and the height to which it has been lifted greater the mass or height of an object more the potential energy it will have so the gravitational potential energy gpe is given by the formula m into g into h so where m is the mass of the body g is acceleration due to gravity and h is the height of the body let's see how the gravitational potential energy is doubled when it is height uh, when its height is doubled so 
case 1 mass of the first body b m let the height of the first body b h then the acceleration due to gravity g which is a constant uh, 9.8 so the gravitation potential energy of the first body is given by the equation well known equation m into g into h so in the case of second case the mass of the same body b m when the height is doubled so it is it is written as 2 h so since this height is doubled it is written as 2 h so here the acceleration due to gravity is a constant value so the gravitational potential energy of the same body when its height is doubled so we have the formula m into g into 2 h so in the place of h we have to write it as 2 h then if you divide the first uh, equation by the second equation we will get uh, 1 by 2 so m g and h will get cancelled so we will be left with 1 by 2 so if you cross multiply at this position so uh, gravitational potential energy of the same body when it is high, when its height is doubled is equal to 2 times uh, the gravitational potential energy of the first body. So, from this above equation it is clear uh, that when the height is doubled then the gravitational potential energy is also doubled. What are the examples of gravitational potential energy? First example is a rock situated on a hill is the best example for the potential energy. Second one is a ball kept on the uh, rooftop is another example for the potential energy. And the third one is stored water in an overhead tank is the third example. Here we are going to solve some of the numerical problems. The first problem is what is the energy stored in a stone of mass 450 grams which is kept at the top of a building of 530 meters and we assume uh, that the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square. So, mass is given that is 450 grams. So, we have to convert into kilograms. We know 100 kilograms, 100 grams is equal to 1 kilograms. So, in order to convert uh, from gram to kilogram, we have to divide by uh, divide that value by 1000. So, if you divide 450 by 1000, you will get uh, 0.45 kilograms. So, you have to place a decimal point 3 uh, digits from the right. So, uh, you will get 4 0.45 kilograms. So, G you know that 10 meter per second square, height is given in the sum that is 3 meters, 30 meters. Therefore, by using the formula gravitational potential energy is given by the formula m into g into h. So, if you substitute all those values you will be left with 135 joules. So, the energy stored in the stone is 135 that is 1035 1, joules. This energy stored is gravitational potential energy. Now, let us pass on to the second problem. What is the weight of the object that has gravitational potential energy of 4800 uh, joules if it is dropped from the height of 6 meters? So, solution potential energy is given as 4800 joules, height is 6 meters. We know the formula potential energy is equal to m into g into h. So, m into g is nothing but weight. So, we know very well that is weight uh, is given by the product of mass and acceleration due to gravity. So, in the place of m into g we can rewrite the formula as weight. So, weight into height. So, therefore, in order to calculate weight the height uh, on the right hand side it will come down to the uh, denominator. So, weight is equal to potential energy by height. So, for, if you divide 4800 by uh, 6 you will get left with 800 newtons. So, the weight of an object is uh, 800 newtons. Let us move to the final problem. A 34 newton object is lifted to a height of 12 meters. 
what is the gravitational potential energy of this object. So, weight is given that as 34 newtons, height is 12 meters. So, we know the formula for the gravitational potential energy that is uh, m into g into h or weight into height. So, if you multiply uh, the weight 34 by 12, you will get 408 joules. So, the gravitational potential energy of the object in this case is 408 joules. So, what is elastic potential energy? The energy of a body due to its a change in its shape and size is called elastic potential energy. So, uh, due to its shape and size also the energy will be stored in an object. Uh, this example we already seen uh, in the beginning of the class. So, here uh, the shape and size of the bow is changed. So, due to its change it possesses some energy it is called elastic potential energy. Similarly, here this the case of spring also if you compress the spring or elongate the extend the spring then the energy will be stored in the spring. The elastic potential energy is associated with the state of compression or extension of the object. Say for example, the energy possessed by a compressed spring or an extended spring that is stretched spring is the elastic potential energy. So, while we compress the spring, the spring it possesses some energy uh, and that energy is called uh, elastic potential energy. Similarly, while we are extending also uh, the uh, spring it possesses some, some possesses some energy and that uh, energy is also termed as elastic potential energy. So, the gravitational potential energy as well as the elastic potential energy are commonly known as just potential energy. That is all from the uh, today's class. Uh, thank you students. I hope uh, you would understand the concepts uh, clearly. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.